<clears throat> had the garage. They're doing some work today, but they have like their garage quite open. You know. Uh, but I'm doing service here today, so. But what I do, I, I come out and treat the whole property from top to bottom for all the insects and spiders. See, see all that? See all that growth? <laughs> That's where the mosquitoes can breed. This isn't really a mosquito video. It turned into a mosquito video. I just wanted to show that uh, even though we're licensed pest management exterminators, uh, most of us don't um, specialize in mosquito application because it's expensive and there's not a huge demand for it. It's seasonal. It's only like two or three months that you would get a mosquito calls. We don't really... We don't really get that get many. These people just think it's an added bonus when they hire us for ants and spiders and stuff like that. They just they're hopeful that it, that that it covers mosquitoes too, you know. But it doesn't. They do have a few outfits that do specialize in mosquito treatments, but that requires like a pyrethrin fog thermal generator. Where they treat the trees. That's not just the trees. It's everything else down below. It's like I think it's it's down low that the mosquitoes are breeding, not up high in the trees. It's my belief. And so what the townships are doing when they come out with their old foggers, they truck them out of foggers and dispersing the permethrin, which is a cheaper version of the pyrethrin. Um, it's just knocking down the adults that are flying. You're just suppressing the population through the peak season. You're not really eliminating the source when they're going out with their trucks in the tree, you know, fogging everything with their trucks. They're really just suppressing the adult population, but they just keep breeding. And I see in this property, they actually have running, like a running uh, fountain to like, to eliminate, you know, their, their, their mosquito population. They don't even have a yard. It's all concrete, <laughs> you, know? And, you know. You know, it's like a major pop. Uh, mosquito area when there's just nothing but concrete for a backyard. <laughs> you know, or you look at this house, it's like a breeding ground. The neighbors must hate this house. Let me see another property. Let's see how much uh, yard they have. The only way you can really correct a mosquito breeding is just eliminate all the growth. Well, this property, uh, you know, is possible. Flower pots. Like your flower pots that don't drain out the bottom, like here. These flower pots. You have people, you know, they're, they're around the house and they're full of water. And the mosquitoes will breed right in there, see? This little pan here. You know, if it's just sitting for a period of time, look at that. Just standing water. And uh, the mosquitoes will breed right into that and start biting you. And you're thinking, you know, you're like, oh, how do we get all the mosquitoes? And then, like, the mosquitoes are breeding right, right next to you. He's not even aware. So I put that in my report, you know. I'll put that in my report. I don't know if people really.